Heather, and this is Just a Girl in Her Wigs. Today, I am bringing a style to you that is very, very cute. And I always say that, but this is very cute. I love this style. This is called Sabrina. It is by Henry Margu. It is a petite head size, and the color is 8 slash 14H. This weighs 1.8 ounces. It has um, a two and a half inch nape. The top here is going to be two and three quarters to four and three quarters inch long. And these bangs are three and a half inches long. So it also offers a, um, a full monofilament top. Um, it has some coverage right throughout the ear. So if you are someone who likes to have some coverage over the ear, you have that. Um, just, it's so cute. I can't get over how cute the style is. Now, I know you all know that I show a lot of pixie styles and, um, what can I say? Here's another one. So anyways, let me spin so I can actually, um, show you what it looks like from all sides and I got to contain myself a little bit. So anyways, here's my left hand side. Super, super fun. With this style, it has a full monofilament top. So you have parting options. You can part this anywhere in between that full monofilament top. You have permatease. It is not a large amount, but it does exist in this wig. That permatease is going to be on the outside of that full monofilament top. It's going to be back here in the crown area, and it's going to be throughout the back of the wig. I did feel a very small amount in the bang area, but that's just right here. Um, I really think that that is there to keep those bangs lifted some, so that way they don't fall flat because it really, to me, it wouldn't look right if your bang was super flat. Um, so it's cute. It's, um, you know, you've got options with the parting space up here. You have some coverage over the ear. It, you, you, your nape is two and a half. So you do have some coverage back there, but be aware of your bio hair back there. So the way um, you could decide if this style would work for you. With this, I feel like it would be an easy out of the box kind of style to wear. You could take it out of the box, shake it a little bit, put it on, run your hands through, and you would be ready to go to start your day. Also, I think that you, if you like edgy styles, I think that this would work too because I really feel like that you could get in there, massage that permatease some, um, kind of wake it up, put some product in here, whether it be like a wig wax or a spray, whatever it is that you like to wear, and you could get this to be um, a pretty, you know, edgy style. But at the same time, if you do not like edgy styles and you are one of those people who want something that just is a little bit more conservative and you want to, you know, lay it down some, you have that option too. But just understand you have some permatees in there. So this is not going to lay extremely flat to the cap. So it's going to still have a little bit of height, but it's not going to be as much as um, what it would be you know, if you were, you know, kind of poofing it up some. So I want you to be sure you understand that. So you can push it down and you can part it. Now it's parted kind of on the right hand side because this right here is my right hand side. So it's kind of parted on the right. It is like that because when I pulled it out of the box and as I ran my hands through it, because I wanted to feel what the fibers felt like, I was checking for permatees and things like that. This is how it really wanted to lay. It wanted to lay so it was kind of going from the right to the left versus the left to the right. But because it has that monofilament top, you have the ability to get in and change that up some if that is something that you prefer. But I know there are people out there who like to part on the right hand side and this seems like it just behaves better if it's just left to part on the right. 
So I wanted to give you that option as well. And I know I've already said that this is for a petite um, head size. I do not think that this style comes in an average or a large cap. I think it is only specifically a petite. So please keep that in mind as well. I am a petite um, or petite to petite average. I'm just on that fine line to where it just almost right outside of petite, almost into the average. A lot of times I try to wear average caps and they do run large on me and it depends on what brand and what style. So keep that in mind as well. But this is fitting me very well. Actually, it's comfortable. It is not too tight. Sometimes you can get wigs that are too tight right into here. And um, I don't feel like it's too tight. I did not have to cinch this in at all when I took it out of the box. I left it, you know, as it was, as it come from the manufacturer. It's a brand new wig. So anyways, it's not too tight. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt my head or anything like that. I get good coverage with this. And I think if I forgot to tell you, this does not have a lace front. So you don't really have the option of pulling the bangs off of your face. So please understand that as well. But I get good coverage. The only thing that I notice is that the ear tabs are a little longer than what I prefer. Now, it might be okay for other people. It depends on how you or where you like your ear tabs to sit. I prefer mine to be up a little bit higher above my the arms on my glasses so there's that but it's a very cute style I think it has options you could wear it big one day and you could kind of um you know pull it down just a little bit a different day you could part it different directions I think with this earpiece right here this is going to be a lot a little bit longer so it's kind of kind of come down you could tuck that back if you don't want that all out. A lot of times I tuck um, pieces like that. But you don't have to. So please understand that too. You don't have to tuck that back there. But you have that option if that's something that you like. But this kind of comes down on the face. So if you notice, that's a little bit longer of a piece. It comes down on the face. If you don't like that either, you could probably um, trim that up some. So that way it's not such like a point. I like that. I think that's cute. But in case you don't like something like that, you could probably trim that up some so it's not so long. So all in all, before I take this off and show you underneath the cap, this weighs 1.8 ounces. It has a full monofilament top. It has a little bit of permatease. It has parting options. It's a very cute style. It is a petite only cap size. So for all you ladies out there or all you folks out there who are looking for cute styles like this, but you really need a petite, this right here would be awesome to have. And it was very, like I said, it's just very cute. I can't get over how cute it is. Sometimes I put on things and I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I like that or not. But I actually fell in love with this. It's very cute. The fibers are um, soft. They are not scratchy or dry or brittle or anything like that. So just want to make sure I tell you that. Um, just a cute style. If you prefer to have that lace front, um, it, this does not offer that. But I think this bang is not super long and it's not super short. So if you like to have, um, you know, depending on how you like to wear your bang, you could, this is going to be a little bit shorter, obviously. Um, but you could probably pull it all down if you really, you know, down straight, if you like it longer. So anyways, very cute style. Let me show you the inside of the cap. Um, and before I do that, I like to tell you too, I know I have a dark colored, um, wig grip cap on so it makes it more difficult to see down in there when you are looking at a monofilament part or a monofilament top so i want to make sure that i'm showing you that you do you can see down into let me turn it around like this you can see down into the cap and so i just want to make sure i show you that that you can see down in there it's just probably more difficult when i have a, a dark colored cap on but i wear these uh with every wig um and quickly i want to tell you that uh 
I did not see any visible permittees on this. And I always let people know whether I can or I cannot. And I do not see any visible permittees in this. So let me show you the underside of the cap. The front has this like silicone piece right there. I did not notice any irritation on my forehead. Um, I didn't notice anything, any, um, any uncomfortable feeling. Um, and I think that you can use that. I think you can put some adhesive on there if you want to adhere it to your scalp. It has that full monofilament top like I was talking to you about. And then I was telling you about the permittees on the outside of that monofilament top. You have open ear tabs. They are not closed. They have a bendable stay in there. And then the back, you have a Velcro adjuster with an extended nape. That's just your tag. All in all, a great style. I feel like um, that I really like that nape too because I feel like that nape kind of hugs back there. So I appreciate that. I don't like um, to feel like there's some bulkiness back there or maybe too much hair. I feel like that this is done very nice. Very cute style. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section. I will do my very best to answer them. If you are looking for the information for the wiggery, please look at the description box because that is where you're going to find that information at. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Um, my name is Heather and this is Just a Girl and Her Wigs. I hope you each and everyone have a great day and thanks for watching.